Hi, I'm Chris Luck, founder of alphapreneur.com, the social network for entrepreneurs. And today I'm here to share with you how two guys, the two guys you see on your screen right now, got 1 million users for a product that they came up with using referral marketing. And they got the 1 million users before they even launched, which was truly incredible. So uh, what we're gonna do is dive into the agenda for today so you can kind of see what to expect. We're gonna talk about who today's talk is for. It's for a very specific type of person, so it's important to know who that person is and if you're that person. We're gonna talk about the two guys that got one million users before launch. We're gonna talk about how they use psychological magic. That was a, that was a fun bullet that I came up with. Uh, we're gonna talk about the exact pages that they made to pull it all off. We're gonna talk about what software you can use to clone their success, how to get free traffic to jumpstart your campaign. And then we're gonna jump into live Q&A about today's talk. So if you're here live, you can obviously see the live chat is on fire. There's a lot of people interacting and uh, so thank you for that. If you're watching the, the recording of this live stream because you weren't here live, then you're probably not able to see today's uh, live chat because uh, I have that disabled. That's, all, that's, only the ben that's the benefit for showing up live. And then uh, for, if you are new to what I'm doing on, Alpha, on Alphapreneur and the YouTube channel, uh, again, Alphapreneur is a social network for entrepreneurs. It's the world's first and only social network. I'm the founder, and then I go live on YouTube every day of the week, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central to just share cool things like I'm about to share with you today. And uh, they're just really, I like to share tips, tricks, strategies, case studies that you can use to start a business and really grow a business and become ultimately successful. So if you enjoy today's talk and you want to continue on the conversation, uh, if you go to alphapreneur.com and click the link below in the description, It'll take you to where you can actually sign up to Alphapreneur. And then one, this is what Alphapreneur actually looks like on the inside. So it's a full-blown social network for entrepreneurs. So when you get into Alphapreneur, you can click on groups. And then once you click on groups, then it will take you to all the private groups we have inside of Alphapreneur. And then if you want to continue the conversation on today's topic, there is actually a group called email marketing. And you can jump into email marketing and again, this is a private group only for members of Alphapreneur, and then that way uh, I can jump in here, answer your questions personally. There's thousands of other Alphapreneurs that can jump in and help you out as well and answer your questions that are all related to today's talk. So that is where to go. If you enjoy today's uh, conversation and you want to continue this on and you don't wanna do it alone, you want people to kind of support you along your journey, and if you want me to help you out along the way, go to alphapreneur.com, sign up, get in, and uh, go to the group. So now let's go ahead and talk about who today's talk is for. So today's talk is for you if you're interested in starting a new business or maybe you have an existing business and you just want to get like, you, you want to kind of revive it and get like fresh new people to see it. Um, and you to do that, you need to build an email list. So building an email list is going to be one of your biggest assets you could ever have as an entrepreneur and as a business owner because Facebook is going to, uh, Facebook's here right now, but eventually there's going to be a new Facebook. I mean, people thought MySpace was going to be around forever and then Facebook crushed MySpace. Something's going to come around someday and crush Facebook. And then all the other social platforms that you might be on are going to come and go. So as they come and go, you should not have to build your business on rented land. You need to own an asset. And the best asset you can own is an email list because when you have an email list, you can, there, there are no rules. You can mail to them as often or as not as often as you would like. And then when a new platform does come along and if you want to maybe run ads to people that are on your email list on that platform, you can upload your email list and then run ads to all the people that you have uh, that has already given you their information. And then what's crazy is on some of these platforms like Facebook and, and Google and all that, you can upload your email list and then tell that platform, hey, go out there and find more people like this list of email addresses that I have. Find more people like them, and then you can. That's how you can rapidly grow your business. So today's talk is if you really want to build an email list, this is a really cool strategy that you can uh, use to build it. And I actually did a similar live stream yesterday. You can go check it out uh, on the Alphapreneur YouTube channel. And then yesterday's live stream uh, was all about how to get a hundred thousand emails in one week. So go look that up, and you can be able to um, to check that out as well. So that's who today's talk is for. Now let's talk about the two guys that actually made uh, that got one million users before they launched a product. So they had, these two guys had an idea for a, a business, but instead of going out there and raising a bunch of money and then running a lot of, uh, spending a lot of money on ads and, you know, really just risking it all, they did something truly unique that allowed them to just, just rapidly grow their email list before their product was even available, which is cool. And that's something that everybody, whether you have a business or you're just starting a business, it's something everybody would love 
to be able to accomplish. So I'm going to show you how to accomplish that. So these two guys are, uh, I'm, I'm, go I'm totally going to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to mess up their names, but I, I believe their names are, it's uh, Bay Bayou Bat, which is on the left, and Vladimir Tenev on the right. So both of these individuals, they have created a program called Robinhood. And you can just go to Robinhood.com. And let's, uh, before we actually go there and take a look at their pages and all that, I want to talk about uh, what really just how they use psychological magic to be able to get 1 million users before they launched using referral marketing. So actually, you know what? Before I do the psychological magic, uh, let me actually show you just the two pages so you can understand what it is, and then we'll talk about the magic. So I guess I kind of messed up the bullets there. So this is what this is the page that they put up before they actually had their before they had their software, before they had their platform. This was the page they that they sent people to. So it had a logo that just looks like an icon that you could just download on the internet somewhere that looked like a little pen, uh, like a quill or uh, one of those uh, what like a quill pen. And then it says Robinhood, zero dollar commission, stock trading, stop paying up to ten dollars for every trade. So if you're into stock trading and you're into finance and you you don't want to spend money on ten dollars on every trade, you would love to be able to trade and get zero dollars. So they have, you know, such a really bold claim there. And then it says put in your email address and then get early access. So that is kind of like their that is what Robinhood was. And then they had a it still is that this is how they launched. And then this is this was the second page. It was just a white screen, nothing fancy going on, no cool visuals, no animation, no videos, none of that stuff. It's like, thanks, we added your email address to the sign-up queue. There's 354,611 people ahead of you. And then it says if you want into if you if you're interested in priority access, you can get early access by referring your friends. And the more friends that join, the sooner you'll get access. So that is that's their strategy. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about. So I kind of uh, jumped ahead, and I'm stepping back one. Uh, to show you the psychological magic behind those pages. So you might you want to definitely write this down because this is this is information that you can use to anything that you do in marketing. And especially if you're going to be building an email list, if you don't want to build an email list using referral marketing, exactly like the strategy you're learning right now, you can still take this information that I'm sharing with you right now and apply it to any type of campaign that you do online or any ad that you want to run or anything like that. So psychological magic. So first, I'm going to, I'm going to, again, I'm going to leave this on screen for a little bit so you can go ahead and have time to write all this down or take notes off of this, however you want to take notes. But first off, they went all in on deploying FOMO. So FOMO, fear of missing out. So they went all in on deploying FOMO, which meant when you saw you could get early access, a lot of people want early access. You don't want to miss out on that. But then the next page that showed there was like 300,000 people ahead of you. So it feels like you're going to be missing out. And if you want priority access and be the first to get access, then share it with your friends. So that is massive, massive FOMO. They really tapped into. Then they kept the sign up process extremely simple. And you saw they did, there was just a logo, there was a headline, and there was a put in your email address, and then that was it. I mean, there is, there is, there was nothing else, and I love minimalism. Like if you go to alphapreneur.com, you will see like minimalism, you know, at its finest because there's like there's a logo. It says alphapreneur. It says the social network for entrepreneurs. You can put in your email address and then join us. That is it. There's nothing else you can do. There's no images. There's no fancy graphics. There's no pictures because the more stuff that you put on pages on anything that you do, the more th th those are those are like those are more things that people can look at and judge and think that what you're offering is not for them. So the less that you can, the more minimal you can make everything that you do, the better it's going to be for you because then you can appeal to more people, even down to the colors and the graphics and all that. You want everything to be as neutral as possible. That's why most of what I do with Alpha Panure is black and white because it's very neutral. I didn't choose any specific colors that that people are going to judge by. So, I mean, it's crazy to think that people could judge by colors, but they do. Uh, then they also, they use gamification. So you saw a waiting list after entering an email. So you already knew like, okay, I'm on the list, but a waiting list of 300,000 people. Can you imagine being in line outside like an Apple store and there's 300,000 people ahead of you and you just now step to the back of the line because you just put in your email address? Like visual that, visualize that for a second. So you're sitting, you're standing at the back of the line, 300,000 people in front of you. And they're like, hey, if you refer some people, you can refer some friends to this, then uh, you can go to the front of the line. Who wouldn't want to do that? Who wouldn't want to get early access? So uh, so to see a waiting list 
after entering in your email address and the position you are on the waiting list is uh, is awesome gamification. And then because you saw your place in line and it was not a good place to be in. And then you can get priority early access by referring friends. So genius, genius business model. So now what I want to do is you already kind of saw this briefly, but we'll kind of go back and recap it again, is talk about the exact pages that they had to pull all of this off. So again, the landing page. Take a look at this. Green is kind of a neutral color, but I think when I think green, I think money, when I, you know, money, stock, commission. So green was a appropriate color that they chose for this. Uh, but as far, and then with, in the background, it shows there's someone on their phone, but it's blurred out. So it's giving you kind of a sense of a visual that you can do this on your phone. Maybe you can, um, there is a mobile app maybe attached to this. So it's simple. It's easy. Whereas if they had this big desktop computer or like an office building or something like that, you're immediately like subconsciously being disconnected from what it is that they're offering. Like what they're offering is like, you know, for the high and mighty and then it's not going to work for you. But you just see someone holding a phone and you don't even know if it's a guy or a girl holding a phone. So it's it's very it's very subliminally. This is beautiful because it's really applying. It's it's applicable to everybody. Then again, Robinhood 0% commission, anyone that's trading stocks and they see they can get a 0% commission, they're going to be interested. They're not asking for a name. They're not asking for an email address. They just say enter in your email or they're, they are asking for an email address. They're not asking for name and all these other fields, phone number, you know, how much are you trading? It's not a survey. Email address, get early access. And then once you do that, then again, this is the thank you page. Very simple. We've added your email address to the sign up queue. There's 354,000 people ahead of you. And it's letting you know you, this reservation is held for you. And then it's saying interest in priority access, get early access, referring your friends. The more friends you join, the sooner you'll get access. So they don't even tell you how many friends you need to refer to get early access. They're not going to tell you, are you going to be at the front of the line or are you just going to move up a couple spots? It is so, it's so like, mysterious and it's like just refer people and you will get put you you will get early access so the and i tried my hardest to go look at interviews and and all that of of the two uh guys that did robin hood and did this and they didn't say anything about about you know did was this number fake was it like a false number uh was it uh was it a real number the three hundred fifty four thousand? was it um, uh, like when you referred people, did it just, they, they did not say like, how far ahead would you get pushed? They did that. They just skipped over that question when people, that question is being asked. So that's something to think about, especially when I'm about to show you the software we're about to use. So then, um, so then it's okay. Then it gives you a couple of options you can share, uh, Twitter, Facebook, email, or LinkedIn. So something to keep in mind is that when you do referral marketing and you, you have something like this, the more options you give people, the more chance chances you have of them not taking any action. So really, I like to think of like maybe a max of three options as far as how many options you want to give people and think about like the three best options on how you would love for people to spread the word about what it is that you do. Now with stock trading, they for I mean, with Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn that a lot of stock people are on all of those platforms. So uh, so maybe it makes more sense to them. So but you can experiment, try three, try four and then, you know, just see what really, you know, works the best. So now that you saw that, I want to talk about the software. By, by the way, is this cool for all of you? I see the chat is on fire with all of you talking to each other, which is awesome because then because uh, you, you show up to live streams and it's a good community. And uh, for those of you that are, that, that are watching the replay of this and I mean the live chat, there's a ton of people uh, chatting right now. So I just want to make sure that everything like is, is everything making sense to you as far as Robin Hood and uh, where we're headed. Because now what I want to do is talk about the software that you can actually use to clone their success. Okay, so let me take a look at the chat. And uh, Alexandra says it's amazing. Jamie says it's cool. Chris, uh, Michelle gave me a smiley face. <laughs> Michelle says, nope, it's hot. Thank you so much. I'm listening, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, Sue Doc Ross, loving it. Uh, Robin Hood marketing, that's a good way to put it. Uh, yes, it does make sense. Good. So I just want to make sure that we are all on the, the same page. So now the software, for those of you that saw yesterday's live stream, this is going to... Uh, kind of sound a little familiar to you, but you're going to see a different way of using it because again, I did a, a live stream yesterday that was talking about how to get 100,000 emails in one week, which you can go watch the recording of that by going to either alphapreneur.com or looking at alphapreneur on YouTube uh, or actually looking at alphapreneur on any social network because now I'm, I'm, I'm sharing these videos on, on social media. 
And yesterday was like the first day of doing that. So uh, go watch that if you haven't done so already. But on that live stream, I um, I asked people if they would, that were live, if they would like me to do more case studies like this. And the overwhelming response was yes. So that is the purpose of today's case study. So what we're going to do is the software that you can use to clone this. Uh, the first one is called Viral Loops. So I'm actually logged in right now, but let me go to um, viral-loops.com. So when you go to viral-loops.com, this is uh, referral marketing made easy. There's two platforms that you can use. There's actually a lot of platforms you can use to be able to pull off what Robinhood did. Um, but the two best ones that are out there is viral-loops.com. And the other one is going to be Kickoff Labs, which you can go to kickofflabs.com. So those are the two. The good news is with both of these is that they both have free trials. So you can sign up to both of them and build out your own referral marketing campaign on both of them and then make the decision on which platform did you like to use more than the other? Like which one was easier for you? Because they are both radically different in the in the way that they have the ability to set up campaigns. Uh, Viral Loops just came out with a new update a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago. And uh, their platform looks better and like shinier and new and fresh. But Kickoff Labs doesn't look as as fancy and polished as Viral Loops, but I feel like Kickoff Labs is more uh, is more bulletproof. It's stood the test of time. They're kind of like the category king, so to speak, uh, when it comes to referral marketing for this type of referral marketing we're talking about today. So inside of Viral Loops in, in Kickoff Labs, just to show you, so I'm in my Viral Loops campaign right now, and uh, or I'm, I created a new account so you could see what like a fresh account looks like. So and how you would want to replicate what we're doing with what what Robinhood did. So you would go in here and then you would simply click on create campaign. And when you click on create campaign, notice when we come down here, they're going to have templates you can start out with. One template, yesterday's template, we actually talked about harrys.com and the, the shave club, which was really cool, which is a milestone referral campaign. Today, we're actually talking about the startup pre-launch, which is what Robinhood pulled off. So you can see there is a template specifically inspired by Robinhood. It's the one in green here. It says, allow your visitors to join a wait list for early access and pre-launch exclusives. Invite your friends and climb up the list. So you can say, yes, I do want that. So go ahead and click on uh, select that template. And then you can see this is the template. So it's going to say, here's how it works. You're basically going to have an early access uh, page. Then they're going to see where they're at in line. They can refer friends. You can even have a leaderboard to see like who's in the lead. So instead of saying there's 351 people, you know, ahead of you, you can actually see the names and who's in what spot. And then when you refer people, then it's going to actually move you up in the leaderboard and send out email saying, Oh, thanks for referring, you know, a new, uh, someone new to the campaign. You are now, you've now moved up five spots on the leaderboard. And so that's kind of cool. And then, uh, so that, that is how viral loops work. So you can hit select template and then here you just walk through creating your template. So I, let's say we want to do Robin Hood. We could just do Robin Hood. And then for where the URL is hosted, I'm just going to say I want to use a viral loops page. And then we would just uh, click the next button. And then we move on to the widget. And then the way viral loops, again, this is all a new interface. So the, the, it always worries me whenever a company like completely does like a, a complete redesign of everything because it makes you wonder like, well, how was their business doing before? Like, why did they do a complete redesign from the ground up? Because they radically like changed their interface. So that makes me worry. Like, is the company doing good or are they, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. So um, so you can actually see here, you can build out like on the left hand side with this widget box. Notice like this is the landing page, though. So the, you can't have like this beautiful landing page that Robinhood had. Like, if we go back and take a look at Robinhood, it's like they got this background you got text on top of it. You got this email opt-in. But then when you go into Viral Loops, you just got this kind of sign-up box. So you, I guess with the background, you can change maybe the background color, it looks like here. Um, maybe with advanced settings, you can do some, oh, advanced settings is just terms and conditions. So that, that kind of makes me worry in terms of being able to clone what you can do with, uh, with Robinhood. So let's go ahead and just hit Next. And then you can say, do you want a double opt-in? I always do recommend double opt-ins whenever you're doing referral campaigns because that's going to help with your fraud detection. So because if the, you had somebody that was just submitting a bunch of fake email addresses so they could get early access or they could unlock a reward or something like that, and uh, those were just fake email addresses they don't have access to and they're not double opting in, uh, that's really going to mess you up. So 
I always choose double opt-in whenever you're doing anything like this. Uh, expiration, you can actually choose if you want the, the expir to expire on a certain day. We'll just say never expires. Uh, notifications. By the way, I'm just breezing through this very quickly because I want you to just see the interface of Viral Loops, and then I want you to see the interface of Kickoff Labs, and you can decide which one you might want to go with. So welcome email, we can turn that on. You can edit the email if you would like. Uh, integrations, if you want to integrate with you know any other third-party provider uh, for your emails, maybe you can. Um, you want to drop Facebook pixels, you want to track things on Google Analytics, uh, you want to do web hooks, you can do all that kind of stuff. Uh, boost campaign, uh, this is new. I boost your campaign by by reminding participants to keep referring their friends. So yes, we obviously you know want to do that. And you can actually have an email go out and remind them every five days, like, hey, you're still on this, uh, you're still on this campaign, this uh, to get early access. You know, be sure there's there are now 700 and something people ahead of you. You know, it, remember if you just refer a couple friends, then you can be able to get early access. So that's kind of cool how you can do that. You can do it manually or auto. And then for installation, it's going to ask you, do you want to use their pages or do you want to do it yourself? So if I say I want to use the viral loops pages, it's going to be like, okay, here's your, here's your page. So then let's just, hi, let's say edit campaign page. And then, okay, so this is the page that is a little more, um, again, I don't like the way this is all laid out because this is not looking at all like Robinhood, even though we chose the Robinhood template and in, inside of viral loops. I'm super confused as far as like where to go here. So uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to go around and click on here and, and show you what you need to do because I want to just quickly jump over to kickoff labs because I want to show you like just the difference in both of these. Now, the reason I'm showing you viral loops, even though this is kind of, um, you know, kind of, yeah, you can go through and tweak this kind of stuff and then maybe make it work for you. But here's the thing. So viral loops is spending a boatload of money on advertising. So if you did if you did any searching for referral marketing or Robin Hood campaign or anything like that, you're going to see viral loops popping up everywhere because they have a deep marketing budget. I'll tell you right now, uh, Kickoff Labs is owned by one guy, and I talked to that guy personally, and he did not like pay to sponsor this uh, this live stream or anything like that. I'm and I don't even have an affiliate link to share with you. They have an affiliate program, but I don't even have that. I'm just naturally going to show you how to use it because of um, how much just so you can make the decision what's what's best for you. Because I don't want you to invest or join something like Viral Loops just because they have better marketing when Kickoff Labs could probably pull off what you want to do way better. Uh, so, and by the way, I see that there are questions that are, that are coming in right now. Uh, save the questions to the very end because we are going to have a live Q&A. Uh, for those that are here live, I want to be able to uh, save time to answer questions to everybody that is here live that has a question. So save it to the end because I might even answer your question just in natural form of teaching. Uh, so hang on and then we'll uh, get to Q and A here in a second. All right. So inside, when I, like I said, I'm now in kickoff lab. So in kickoff labs, what I would do, uh, let, let's call this one Robin hood. I do not want to create an empty campaign because I'm going to assume you don't know what you're doing. So we want to go through the wizard. Uh, so we can see there is uh, there. They don't have, they don't say the people's names. Like they don't say make this campaign based off of Dropbox or make this campaign based off of Robin hood or make this campaign based off of Harry's. That's kind of slick how Robin or how viral loops did that. So kickoff labs doesn't do that, but it's really easy to find out what campaign you're going to go with. So we would actually, for, in this case, use a pre-launch wait list. Now, yesterday, when I showed how to get 100,000 emails in a week, we used unlock rewards. So we did that campaign. So today we're doing the pre-launch wait list. So for here, what you can do, you can hit view example. So if I just open that in a new tab, note, look at this. The example looks exactly like Robin Hood. So this is what this is what we would want to be going for. You saw like when you created your page and campaign page on viral loops, it was like, what the heck? This looks like something that like my seven year old put together. But you want to create a campaign and kickoff labs, even though they might have not have the best visual looking interface. Uh, when you get down to actually templates, they I mean, this is crazy. So if we go back, this was Robin Hood had an had a logo, a white logo, green text had one headline had a had a background that was blurred out you could put in an email address and get early access when you go into kickoff labs look at that white logo green text one headline put in your email get early access and then the background's kind of blurred out so super cool so it's like yes 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 we want we want that example so we're going to hit select and then it's going to say okay well how are new leads going to sign up do you want them to sign up on a landing page 
which is what you want to do, uh, or pop-ups on your website. Maybe you have an existing website. You just want to pop up saying, Hey, you know, we got this new thing, uh, put in your email and get early access. You could do that. Or you could like be really technical and then use your own existing forms and all that. I don't recommend doing that. I always like to just do a new landing page and let kickoff labs like manage everything. So we're going to hit select and then now it's going to show you popular pairs. Now, this is what's really cool. And this is new to kickoff labs. So with popular pairs, you can actually see, um, layout. So, so maybe like that Robin hood look is not for you. Maybe you are doing an app that is much more mainstream and much more mass market. And you want to have a picture of a phone where they can put in their email address or something like that. We'll take a look here. So you can hit view demo and then maybe this is a landing page you would prefer. You can still do the whole get early access, but this is a much more open and fresh and simple, uh, you know, with, with some, things like benefits of your software, or your service that you're going to be offering. So, I mean, this is a template that's fully edible that you can uh, just go with. So that is if you wanted that template. Uh, here's another one. So we can actually view this other template on Kickoff Labs. And this this is for a bakery, but still it gives you the idea. Like, here's what it looks like. Uh, you can come down and pick any of these other templates they have. They have templates for all kinds of things. But in our case, we know Robinhood got a million... <laughs> email addresses before they launch. So clearly their layout is working for them. So we would just want to go ahead and select theirs. So we're going to do that. And it's going to say, okay, well, how do you want leads to earn points? Do you want them to earn points through referrals and following or in like all these other things that they can do in addition to referrals? Or do you just want just referrals? If you want to just model what Robin Hood's doing, I would do just referrals, but you could set it up where, you know, if you like us on Facebook, then you'll get in, you'll move a little bit further ahead, you know, but the, the, again, the more things that you tell them to do or give them the option to do, the more chances you're giving them to, um, to be confused and just not do anything. So just keep it simple and just do, uh, just referrals. And then once you do just referrals, it's like, okay, here's your pages. Uh, you have sign up forms and you have thank you pages. And then what's really cool is that you can do email and SMS. You can push leads to other services like let's say you have active campaign or aweber or mailchimp or clavio or some other mail provider when you're collecting emails here and act in uh, kickoff labs you can automatically have those leads pushed to other sources if you like so uh so now we have sign up forms and thank you pages then all you have to do is go in and edit those forms so for the for the sign up form we're just, we're just going to hit edit and look at this isn't this way better looking than this <laughs> <laughs> I should, you know, I, and I wasn't even planning on, I should have done this ahead of time. If I did this ahead of time before, that's the thing with these live streams. I, the only planning I do is I put together my agenda of what I'm going to share. And then I just teach live. So you're, you're going to be just as surprised as me sometimes when I jump into a platform, it's like, oh my God, this looks horrible. Don't use that. Uh, so I, between, if I had to pick right now between kickoff labs or viral loops, I would say just delete viral loops in your mind altogether and go to kickoff labs. Cause if this is the template that they're giving you to, to start with, and then you go into kickoff labs and then this is the template they're giving you to start with. I think the, 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 the winner is, is clear. So, uh, so now you have your template, all you do is change things. So where it says Robin hood takes the ones uh, that now they can't, they couldn't use obviously the exact text that, uh, that, that Robin hood had on their site. So they had to change it a little bit and kind of be creative with it. But if you want to change it, um, I don't know, let's, uh, yeah, Sue in the chat says way better looking. Yes, absolutely does. Uh, Jamie says, this is a great comparison. Thank you so much. By the way, I am keeping an eye on the live chat, um, for anything that you're all saying, uh, really nice and clean, uh, a nice template. Thanks, Alexandra. Mike says, uh, thanks. I've been on this just new trying to chat here. So Mike looks like he's new to the live stream. So Mike, welcome to the live stream. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, Desi says, woohoo kickoff labs. So yeah, we got a winner. It would definitely be kickoff labs if you want to keep it simple. And then, uh, just to the point. So, uh, so in here, I mean, it's super simple. Now I'm not going to, uh, you know, come up with a product and all that kind of stuff on the fly, but uh, just to show you, like, I mean, you just easily like change stuff on the fly. If you don't want, if you know, if you don't want, uh, what, what is this, uh, this green color, then you could just highlight that and click on colors and then change that to, I don't know, blue. If you want to make it blue, you know, it's super, super easy. Uh, the email field, you can click on edit. And then instead of get early access, you could change it to something else. You can play around with the button font. You can make the button size large, extra large XXL, 
which just makes you can just everything is super super easy uh, to mess around with you can play around with the color of the button you can choose flatter outlined you can do hover colors i mean it it is so you cannot break kickoff labs and if you do you just undo your setting and go back to to what you had before so that would be like the the landing page okay so let's go ahead and just close out of that and then now uh, let's take a look if i go back to overview now let's look at the thank you page because we didn't really see the thank you page so let's take a look at that and this actually looks way better than robin than what robin hood had so they still they still have the cool background like the the dark background then they've got their icon that you can use it says great you're on the wait list it's going to say your position and then total in line so it's going to let you know where you're at and then how many people are actually in line and it and then they have it set up on kickoff labs you can move up uh, move your place in line move up your place in line by referring friends and then this is where you can edit this and then you can th this is this is where you can do the sharing network so let's say maybe you just want facebook and email maybe you don't want twitter at all you just delete twitter and it's off there and see where it says share on facebook you can actually even edit that where you can change the button text where you could just say share and then it'll just change to share uh you can also hi uh remove it completely and then there's just an icon if you just want icons there because if uh i believe on robin hood if we saw uh on robin hood Oh, it said, so Facebook said share, Twitter said tweet, LinkedIn said share, and then the email icon said email. So if you wanted to model that, you would do the same thing. So for Facebook, again, we would go back to the little Facebook icon and we would do share and then hit save changes and the email icon, we would edit that and we would say email. And then if we wanted one more, we could add a share link and then we can choose the network we want to share on. So You've got Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Reddit, Tumblr, Dig, WordPress, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Telegram, SMS. Like this is really, really cool stuff. So let's say if you were uh, maybe, let's say you want to do um, Facebook Messenger. You could do Facebook Messenger and then the button text would be message. And then you could add, even make sure that um, Facebook Messenger device support. So that that icon would only show up if someone is viewing this page on mobile and tablets or mobile only. So if they're viewing on desktop, it wouldn't have that option because on Facebook Messenger, if they tapped it and they're on mobile or desktop or mobile or tablet, it would just take them right into Messenger and everything would pre-populate. So all that stuff is like done behind the scenes. So you could just have, you know, share, email, message, or you can copy and paste to share. Maybe you don't want the footer here at all because I like, I like to just keep things as minimal as possible. You could literally just move over the footer and hit delete and the footer's gone. So then you don't have to, so I mean, this is as simple as it gets. Now, this is where it gets crazy. So where it says your position to, watch this, I can hit edit. Okay, it doesn't show it in here. Okay, that, so that, that something was moved on me. So let me, I gotta find this in real time. So let me go ahead and just hit save. Save, I'm gonna exit out. You can go to, let's go to the settings here for this campaign. And then we want to find here <laughs> campaign jumpstart. Click on this, and you could make it three hundred. What, what was Robin Hood? Three hundred and fifty-four thousand six hundred and eleven. So you could do three hundred and fifty-four thousand six hundred and eleven, <laughs> and then and save campaign jumpstart. So then when the first person comes and puts in their email address, it's it'll be like there are three hundred fifty-four thousand six hundred eleven people ahead of you your position is, and then if they want to share and like get ahead of the line or get priority access, then you know get priority access. So you can actually make it where it looks like, which, which and that's why I mentioned earlier, like Robinhood was not really specific on how many, um, you know, on, on the, the, the number of leads. Is that, is that real or was that inflated? Like they never really answered that. So if you, I mean, this is up to you. If you wanted to inflate the number, this is how you could inflate the number. And you can't do this on viral loops either. So uh, David says, LOL. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is cool stuff. I mean, this is things that like, if you want to be, this is like the difference of being an entrepreneur and an alphapreneur. Like you, you need to have every tool, every skill set, every unfair advantage in your toolbox. So then you can decide what you want to do with it to just crush your competition. Uh, so that's what I, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to be your guide and to really share with you as the founder of Alpha Panure, just share with you all of these crazy things that you can do 
uh, to start a business and grow a business and then leave it to you to go out and conquer the world. And then, like I said, if you enjoy this kind of stuff and then like, I'm, I'm telling you everything you need to do right now. I'm not going to ever sell a course again. I'll never sell you a course. Uh, I just like to teach for free because I believe all information should be free. And then uh, that way you have, you're have you armed with everything you need to go out there and be dangerous. And then if you want to connect with other people and talk about you know secrets and tactics and scheme on ideas and team up with other people, that is what Alpha Panure is for. And that's, again... If you go to alphapreneur.com, you can go there, sign up, and then this is what Alphapreneur looks like on the inside. So you can come here on the inside and then click on groups. And then inside of Alphapreneur, inside the group section, you can come down to email marketing. And then we can talk about this stuff all day long. And I can help you and give you some ideas and strategies on like building out your campaigns if you want some help yourself. Uh, you know, so anyway, that's kind of, that's why I like I'm doing, sure I oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if I want to, I have an Apple watch and I don't know if I want to keep it. I have this love hate relationship with it because when my hand is like bent just a little bit, it pushes in on the crown and then Siri kicks on and then Siri like listens to everything that I'm talking about. And apparently for the last five minutes, it was listening to every word I said and then said, I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want to keep it or not, but I like it because it can track like my calories burned and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so where was I? Uh, I was on... Oh, I was on the software you can use. So that was a little bit uh, a long of a, <laughs> Anne says you were so right. Uh, crushing, <laughs> crushing guide. Love it. Thank you so much. Terry says dominate. Yeah. So I just, I like to just give you all the things you need to go out there and do what you want to do. Uh, so now let's talk about to get free traffic to jumpstart your campaign. Well, clearly you could just put in some numbers and it looks like your campaign is jump started, but that's up to you. Um, but if you want to actually get out there and get people to join your campaign, really uh, yesterday's talk I did about uh, the two guys that started harrys.com, how they got 100,000 emails in in one week was they just did word of mouth with friends, family, and coworkers. That's all they did to get the ball rolling. And then it just snowballed from there. So they didn't do paid ads. They didn't run Facebook ads. They didn't do any of that stuff. And then uh, Robin Hood, same thing. They actually just started sharing it with uh, family, friends, coworkers. So there's, there's a common theme going on with all that. And then obviously media and all that will pick it up. Journalists will pick it up. Uh, when it starts snowballing and people are just sharing it all over the place. So to get free traffic to jumpstart your campaign, um, the best thing to do is just start with friends, family, coworkers, build your pages and kickoff labs, then go grab your links. You don't have to have a domain name. You don't have to have hosting. You don't have to have WordPress. You don't have to have any of that. Just sign up for a free account. Again, I'd recommend it kickoff labs because you saw the difference between the two. And then get your campaign built and then just start going on wherever you go uh, on social media to connect with people that know you. Like go and just say, hey, I'm starting this new thing. I would love for you to check it out and let me know what you think. Don't tell people go sign up or, or go join and invite all your friends. Don't, nobody likes that person that says that. Just say, hey, I'm really excited. I'm creating this new insert, whatever it is you're creating. Uh, and then I'd love, I'd love to get your feedback and then just drop the link. And then leave it to them to go check it out, look at the logo, look at the headline. And then if they like it, then they will put in their email address to support you. And then they'll see they can refer friends. You let your copy and you let the campaign do all the work for you. All you have to do is just get people to it. Uh, and then the best way I found to get people to it is just say, let me know what you think. And then, uh, and then you will also get really good feedback from people and people will, <laughs> whether you like it or not, they're going to let you know what they think. They're going to say your logo sucks or they're going to say, I don't like the colors, uh, which is, that's just feedback you wouldn't have gotten if you just said, Hey, can you go here and sign up? Uh, so I always like to do, uh, to say, let me know what you think. And that really helps out. So that is the best way to get free traffic. Now I'm going to, uh, show two other software, uh, services I, I, sh I recommended yesterday, but if you didn't see yesterday's live stream, maybe you're only seeing this one for right now. Uh, I'm just going to touch on it briefly, but I went into detail on these yesterday, so go check that one out. But you can actually, um, there's two platforms I recommend. One is called Hunter.io, and Hunter.io is you can put in like a, a company or a blog that you would like to collect all the email addresses for all the employees that work at that company. And so let's say if you were doing uh, Robinhood and then, you want to uh, maybe get connected with people at the Financial Times or something like that. You could do like ft.com. It's going to pull up. There are 1,151 email addresses on record 
for people at Financial Times. So you can actually um, download all these email addresses when you have an account with Hunter.io. Then once you have downloaded all these email addresses, like again, these are all people that work at Financial Times. You don't know which ones are, are journalists, which ones are editors. Some of these people in here might be like, uh, you know, C-level executives. Uh, you don't know. But you just can download all of their email addresses. Then you can go to a software called uh, Mailshake, Dot com And then Mailshake actually connects with your Gmail account. So you could set up, a, if you don't have a Gmail account, you just set up a Gmail account. It's free. Gmail has, again, this, this is like secret stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm giving you more tools to put in your tool chest where you can decide what, what you do and don't want to use. So uh, with Mailshake, so you get all, let's say, the email addresses from everyone at the Financial Times. Then you go into Mailshake, connect your, to your Gmail account that you have. Uh, by uh, right now, the limit is you can send up to 2,000 email addresses on a personal Gmail account per day without getting flagged or anything like that. So 2,000 emails, that's a lot. There's 1,150 people that you could get from Hunter.io. So in within minutes, you could type up an email in Gmail and or in Mailshake that's connected to your Gmail account. And you could say, you don't have to say their name. You could just say, uh, hi, I'm Chris and I... Um, I I just, uh, I'm starting this new stock trading app called Robinhood and it's, uh, it's a 0% commission for stock tips. So people don't have to pay $10 a trade, uh, came across or your email address came across my desk and I would love to know what you think about it and then give them the link and then, and then that's it. So you're not, you're, so you're telling them in an email, like what it is, but you're not saying, Hey, can you sign up? Or, Hey, can you talk about this? Or, Hey, I need this. I need that. You don't want to be like, I need, I need, I need. You just say, hey, your email came across my desk. And then you, they're getting an email from you from your personal Gmail account or a personal Gmail account you created. So then, so it's not even coming across as something that's like spammy or anything like that. And then they'll, and then you can even set in Mailshake uh, to where if they, if you, if when you send an email, let's say you can set a time limit, let's say five days go by and then they never even opened the email. Well, you know, they didn't even open the email. So then, craft another email with a different headline to try to get them to open that email. And then you could set it another, another rule to where let's say another five days goes by and they don't open that email. Well then do another one and you can build that automation out ahead of time in Mailshake. And then you can even build an automation where let's say they open the email and they click the link, but they didn't reply to you. Then you can send another email be like, Hey, you don't have to say, hey, I saw you open the email and click the link, but you didn't reply. <laughs> you don't want to say that because that's going to freak them out and you'll probably never hear from them again. But uh, but you could say something like, hey, um, just following up to, to see if you took a look at Robinhood. I'd really love to know your thoughts. Uh, after your email came across my desk, I did a little bit of research on you and I'm fascinated with what you're doing at Financial Times, even though you may not know what they're doing at Financial Times because you're crafting one email that is going out to every person at Financial Times. And then you know, the way companies work, if a lot of people are getting this type of email, they're all going to talk about it and uh, within each other and their Slack channels. And they, what is this Robin Hood thing? And everyone's like, yeah, I got an email from that guy too. Like then they're going to talk about you. And that is, um, so anyway, that's my little rant on, on how I like to go out there and get free traffic to jumpstart any campaign to spread the word about any business uh, is just those two little tools right there. And then you don't have to run paid ads or anything like that. So again, I talked about this yesterday. So if you're, you were on yesterday's live stream and then you saw us today, hopefully, um, I didn't bore you and maybe you learned a new tip or trick or technique. Cause I try to, even though I, if I talk about the same thing, I try to throw in some, some new advice here and there. So now let's talk about, uh, just some live Q and a, so you now know, you know, how the two guys, well, first, you know, who today's talk was for, you know, the two guys that got 1 million users before launch. Uh, which was, uh, they, they put together Robin Hood. You saw how they use psychological magic. You saw the exact pages they used to pull it off. You saw what software you can use to clone their success. You saw how I really got disappointed with viral loops when I went through the campaign and I just kind of moved over to Kickoff Labs and said, you can tell why I would recommend Kickoff Labs. You saw uh, how to get free traffic to jumpstart your campaign using some tools that nobody else talks about, using strategies nobody else talks about. And uh, so now it's some just live Q and A. So hopefully you um, you had some fun. So this is why it's important to show up live. And by the way, if you have not done so already, subscribe to the YouTube channel because it, it's just going to help the YouTube channel first of all. It's going to help my videos get seen and let YouTube know that my videos are are you know worth watching. And then also whenever I go live, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get if you 
choose or you if you subscribe to the channel and then you mark to get notifications all notifications are on then anytime i go live you'll get notified about it so that way you don't miss out on these live streams you don't get you won't miss out on the chance to be in live chat and ask q a at the end and all that because you never know what i'm going to be talking about or what kind of directions i'm going to go off of the talk uh, because all these are live they're not planned out they're not scripted or anything like that um so yeah so subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already that would be awesome Noob Video says, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> David says, you're hilarious, Chris. Real ninja. I mean, look, thank you, first of all. Uh, but I mean, look, when, you, when you've been doing business for as long as I have online, 21 years, I started in the summer of 99. And when I was in college, I was broke. I was a college student. And I uh, discovered the internet. And I discovered, at the time, I discovered, you know, how to make money online, like by seeing ads in the back of computer uh, like nerd magazines that I read about building gaming computers and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, I want to make some money online. That sounds cool. And then once I bought some of the, the stuff that was in the back of the magazines by going to the websites and calling the numbers and getting the kits in the mail and all that and all the CDs and, and the booklets and all that, it was, it was all about affiliate marketing. And then they were, um, they were all, I bought multiple kits. I maxed out a lot of credit cards, learning how to get started on the internet and uh, they were all teaching the same stuff. And they were, it was so vanilla and so like, ugh, it's so basic. Like really, like all you do is start a blog and then you do product reviews about things. And then if someone, then you have an affiliate link and if someone buys, then you're going to make some money. Like that's, that's really, that's it. That's all you do. And I mean, yeah, the, that they could be as basic as that. But then I started do, doing some digging just by Googling and, and all that. Well, back then it was Alta Vista and like just doing some Alta Visting and Yahooing and then uh, finding out like, man, there is like this whole dark side of the internet where there is some crazy stuff people are doing marketing related that is like basically what, what I was spending thousands of dollars and maxing out my credit cards on on these courses was learning how to build a campfire, like building, like imagine like, okay, you get your hosting, that's a log you get a you get a domain name that's another log and you're 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 assembling the logs to make a campfire and then you light the fire by actually like doing what you're learning about affiliate marketing at the time and then it's like okay i got my fire going but then it's like you're looking at this like half ass fire and it's like i want a bonfire like i how do i make this bigger and uh, when, that's when i started doing some googling and realized that there's like all this crazy stuff people are doing out there that is ninja stuff that, that will never be talked about in a course because it's like underground things. And um, so, and I looked at it as like throwing kerosene or jet fuel on a campfire and it just blows up uh, bigger than you ever imagined. So, so during my whole career building businesses, I'm always experimenting with like ninja stuff and things no one talks about or a lot of people do, but nobody talks about. I test all that stuff and it's fun. I enjoy it. And then now I figure with Alpha Panure, I'm going to, I'm going to share all this stuff with all of you because I think the world needs to know about, you know, what are people doing to really crush competition, but it isn't being talked about. And I want to talk about that. And I don't want to share, I don't want to do it in a course and try to sell you anything. It's just like, no, I want to share it all with you. We can have fun with it and talk about it. Cause I look at like every time I, I do these live streams is like being on a, like I look at Alpha Panure as a pirate ship and you're all jumping on board and walking on board the pirate ship and we set off sail and we make our own rules and we do our own things and we just, you know, build our own businesses and have fun doing it. And then that is again, why, um, why, when I do these and I always say, if you want to continue this conversation and have, you know, fun talking about this in a private environment, that is what alpha Panure is. And that is what the social network is. So, you know, you can actually come in here and see like where I'm always every day, I'm posting like new coaching lessons on all kinds of things and case studies on stuff that you can do to really, you know, I don't want to say become a pirate, but but things you can do that are very unorthodox and, and very unique that is like, you know, advanced marketing experiments and stuff like that, that like, again, you're not going to find anywhere else. So David, I appreciate that. <laughs> Whenever he said real ninja. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. China says uh, it's, <laughs> this is this is very inspiring and fun. I try to make it all fun. Uh, Ann says, how, how do you prevent spam in Hunter IO and Mailshake? So Hunter IO, all, good question, Ann. So all you do with Hunter IO is, uh, you sign up for that to get the email addresses. So once you get the email addresses and, uh, and you've got them, well, then you set up Mailshake and load them into Mailshake. And yeah, you do have to check box and agree to some terms and conditions, but Mailshake was built for one reason and one reason only, and that's cold email outreach. So as far as like 
the spam and all that. It's uh, they have they have uh, all kinds of limits inside of Mailshake on like um, like to prevent from all that. To where they like two thousand emails does do not go out and within like sixty seconds on your Gmail account using Mailshake. They have all these lever uh, like levers and buttons and stuff that um runs behind in the background behind the scenes to help prevent all of that so you don't have to worry about it. I'm just going through trying to find some chat. Blant says, How uh how can you prevent a person from using a second existing email? Can the kickoff labs detect. Yes. So they actually do. Um, so Blanche is referring to, uh, and she says, thanks, Chris, you're welcome. So Blanche, um, kickoff labs has unbelievable, um, they unbelievable fraud detection. They have like several different things that they run in the background to prevent from fraud. One is IP detection. Another is duplicate email. Another is double opt-in. So you can turn the double opt-in. So people get an email that they have to click to. Yes, I did. I do want to be a part of this. Uh, so there's a lot of things that they have that go on behind the scenes. You don't have to worry about They will prevent from fraud. And, um, and that's why if you don't use a system like kickoff labs, and let's say you just want to create your own email form or God forbid, you try to replicate and do this on click funnels or something like that. There is no fraud detection built in and you can blow up your account and have all these fake email addresses and fraud email addresses and people saying, you know, I referred a thousand people, you know, look, look, and then you go and look at their account. It's like, sure enough, they, they gave you a thousand fake email addresses and then, and then they won the grand prize. It's like, so do not try to go do this on your own using some platform that doesn't have fraud detection built in. You want to make sure that you use something like that has something like that. And, uh, and kickoff labs is incredible for that. Uh, Terry says, I'm going to use a strategy to pre-launch my membership site. Perfect for our challenge inside Alphapreneur. Yes, absolutely. And then for those of you who don't know, uh, there are a lot, there's a lot of challenges, um, that people are talking about. One specifically has already started and kicked off, uh, where Alphapreneurs are coming together inside of Alphapreneur.com. And they're like, right now there's a challenge going on where they're, uh, a bunch of you are all coming together and building membership sites, which are, which is really cool. And it's, uh, yeah, I love what's going on in there. Chuck says another great training session. You're uh, thanks again. You're welcome. Lauren says I'm delaying my launch so that I can use it too. Yes, uh, if you're if you are going to launch like a a membership site or a blog or a supplement or anything for that matter, software, a service, and um, paid newsletter, whatever it might be, I would recommend applying the strategy that I just showed you to anything you can you want to launch online because. All you're doing is you're 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 building anticipation for what it is that you're about to launch by building a waiting list. Because if you cannot get someone to go to a page like this where you have a simple logo, you've got one headline and put in their email and get early access. If you cannot get people to get on board your ship uh, and and follow and want to do what you're offering and what you're about to launch to the world, if you can't get people to just do something as simple as this, then when you go live with your product or service, whether it be a supplement, a membership site, a paid newsletter, a software, a service, whatever it is, then uh, why put all that time into building something out like that if no one even wants it? So this is actually a really good technique and a, and a good uh, thing to practice as well to really validate the market before you go into building out what it is that you're about to build out and make sure that people are truly interested in it. Uh, so that way you can, um, yeah, so that way you can you can really validate what it is that you're doing before you do it. Magnus says, we are always getting diamonds every day. That's what I'm here for. I'm here. I'm here to help you out and, uh, to, to give you too much or not too much. I, I read someone say too much in the chat. So your words went into my mouth. Um, but yeah, so I, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Jamie says, shocker, another fabulous training by Chris. Thank you. Um, Mike says, uh, Chris, yesterday you told someone that the strategy to build an email list with kickoff labs or refer a friend strategy works for affiliate products too. Could you explain how that would work? Yes. So if, um, for affiliate products, if you, let's say have, you have an affiliate product you want to promote, uh, let's say you're in, in the health space, for example. Um, and let's say you want to promote health based affiliate products. Maybe they're all related to diabetic type stuff. Well, then what you could do is you could build, think of a brand that you could have that could be like an authority in the space where you want to make money, affiliate marketing. This is just me riffing on this idea. Like I just saw your question, so I'm just now going to try to explain it off the top of my head is what I would do. 
So I would think of like a brand that could be like an authority figure in the, in, or an authority brand in the space and then have a, and act like the brand is just launching. So a great example is in the health space. There is a brand called, um, nope, not Health Confidential. Uh, it is Healthline. So like let's say this this is a brand and, and this the, that's the this would be your blog you're about to launch. It'll be like an affiliate blog where you're going to be recommending products and all that. Well, I would build a page like Robinhood where it would have a logo and be like Healthline is blah, 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 where, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like you're, you're, you're basically giving them the reason to sign up. You're, you're giving them solutions to their problems when they put in their email. So then put in their email and get early access. Then you could have the milestone uh, referral strategy, which is what you were talking about that I showed yesterday. And that was to um, where if they refer five friends, they get this. If they refer 10 friends, uh, they get the, actually, you know what? I wouldn't even do that. I would have, um, I would have where you put in their email and they get, they can get early access. And then again, this is me just literally brainstorming on the fly. I would do what Robin hood did where it's like, there's this many people ahead of you. So they know that they're, they're going to get early at, they're going to get access to healthline. Let's say that's your site you're about to launch. Um, but they can refer people to get friends. But then what you could do below this, you could create what is like an offer wall in an offer wall could just be have have all of these um, little like square thumbnail images of all these products that are related to like why you're waiting. You know, here here are some offers from our from trusted partners and you could have all these little thumbnails of like different things that they could get. And then it's like get claim offer, claim offer, claim offer. And if they clicked on claim offer, it would just take them to that that page through your affiliate link to where they could take a look at that offer. That's what I would do if I was wanting to build an email list, build up excitement for my brand I'm about to launch, and then make a lot of money as an affiliate marketer, um, is to do something like that. Steve says, love me some Chris Luck history backstories. I've got a lot of backstories. It's just a matter of which ones, uh, which ones are appropriate to share and which ones are not. Ann says, you're in a class by yourself. Thank you. David says, million dollar masterclass today. Thank you. You are very welcome. Thank you for being here all, by the way. For all of you that are here live, um, yeah, I really appreciate it because you showing up live and being active in the chat and asking questions, uh, that is, that's what, that's what truly like inspires me to keep being here and keep sharing things and, uh, and just riff. And I appreciate all of you like enjoying and sitting through me just thinking out loud without having any really solid direction in these Q and A's on where I'm going to go. China says, I'm very new to all this. Uh, what what do I do with the pages after I create them? Yeah, so if you, great question, China. Uh, every question is a great question is the way I look at it. So with Kickoff Lab, so if you wanted to, um, hang on a second, let me log in off of off my screen. So let's say you were, Okay, so so this was the Robin Hood campaign, right? So let's say, uh, so China wants to know if like once you have these pages, now what? So what what you would do? You create your two pages, your sign up page, and your thank you page. You would simply click the drop down and click on. Uh, well, actually, I guess it it would be preview page. Yeah, so you would do preview page, and then you have your link right here in the top URL. So this is your page that you would share with people. So this is without having a, this is if you don't have a custom domain, you don't have hosting, you don't have WordPress, you don't, you just want kickoff labs, you just want to collect email addresses and you just want to build up anticipation for a product you're going to do. Uh, you would just grab this URL and then go share it all over the place. Whether you want to just share it with friends and family, post it on Facebook, post it in Facebook groups, use hunter.io and Mailshake together and then do some cold email outreach. Uh, whatever it is you want to do, just grab this URL and share it with the world and then you will get a lot of people to sign up. Now, what I would recommend doing before you do that, before you do share it, uh, come down, like when you're looking at your campaign in Active Campaign, um, or not Active Campaign, when you're looking at your campaign in Robinhood China, come down to where it says Facebook Share Preview, and then update this. Because then you can actually add the title, add the description, and upload and design and upload an image. So when you do share it on Facebook, it looks beautiful. So what I mean by that is like before we did, um, before we went live today, I went and shared this live stream on my Alpha Panure Facebook page. So if I come down and take a look, uh, when you look at an image that's being shared, so you can see like this image would be the share image. 
this uh, 1 million users before launch using referral marketing, that would be the title. A description would be like another line below that. So this is the, actually what that would look like when you go into kickoff labs and your custom, sorry, I've got too many tabs. So I keep jumping over on tabs that are old and not relevant anymore. So, okay. So you go in here, so you would have your title, your description, your image. So when you do share it with a friend on Facebook, this is like the format of what that would look like. So before you do get your link China and then, or anybody, and then go share this with friends and family or cold email, make sure that you go in and update your Facebook settings. And then you can also do the same for Twitter and you can do the same for email. You can even have, if someone clicks the email to share on email, you can have a message pre-written that just goes into their email, which is really cool. And then you can have a Pinterest share image as well. So set all those share settings up. Uh, so that way, whenever you are sharing and to get to those again, where it says Facebook share preview, this really should say share preview because then you hit update and then that's where you get access to all these settings to all the different sharing platforms. Good question. Um, David says, great training, Captain Chris. Thank you. I'm going to carefully uh, and thoughtfully select what stays and what goes from my tool chest. You've given me tons of gold as any good pirate captain would. <laughs> Thank you. I like, I like that. Desi said, Chris is gold. Thank you so much. Mailshake 100. Yes, Mailshake is incredible. Sue says, uh, for Sue is, by the way, is running the, uh, a membership site challenge right now inside of Alphapreneur. She says, "Discuss. Uh, let's discuss using Chris's techniques in today's meeting because I think she's having a live Zoom just for Alf people in Alphapreneur today, which is really cool. Noob says, uh, can I use this strategy to promote affiliate digital offers that are not my own products? Yes. So I would just do what I just mentioned uh, or mentioned a couple questions ago where you would come up with a brand name and an idea of like what your site would be build a whole coming soon page. Oh, there's one thing I did want to show you, uh, show all of you. So don't like, I used to get so hung up on logos and spend so much time and waste so much of my energy trying to get like the perfect logo made when logos don't really, I mean, well, the Alphapreneur logo is pretty, pretty badass if you do say so myself. Um, so I did have that made. I actually ran a logo contest and spent thousands of dollars to have the logo for Alphapreneur made. But if you want to have um, a logo made for like your, or not logo made, but if you just want to get a quick logo, like Robin Hood did, where it's just like a pen with, this is still their logo, by the way. Uh, you don't need to, anything fancy. Actually, what I would recommend is I go to a place called icon finder. So I'm logged in right now to icon finder. This is iconfinder.com. This is another tool you can add to your tool chest. And then you can actually, let's say you're looking for health or let's say, you well, yeah, let's just do health. Let's, yeah, let's do health. Why not? So we'll just type in health. And then from here, choose Glyph for the type of image you're going to be looking for. Because these, what Glyphs are, uh, these are like solid images, whereas like the outline is like, looks like outline, flat, has a lot of color. Filled outline is okay. Photorealistic, looks like clip art from the 90s. Uh, so I like to choose Glyph. That is what, um, that's like what logos like this, like Robin Hood, how it's all white. Um, that is like a Glyph logo. So you would type, go to Icon Finder and type in health. And let's say you're going to come up with a health membership site uh, that you want to do, like a health line, and you want to build a whole pre-launch buzz around it. Then uh, just type in descriptive things until you find one. Or God, what, what's that? What, what are those um, that where it's like a straight pole and then there's snakes wrapped around it? Um, Catechus? Cat, Catechus. Uh, so you could actually type, so you could like have a logo that looks like super fancy, right? And you, and then all you would do is um, you could just download it like this, but let's say you want it to be white, not black. You can just open the icon editor. This is all in icon finder, by the way. And then I could just highlight the logo instead of black. I could make it white. So you could actually like design your logo essentially in icon finder and then just hit download icon. Uh, even though it's, it's, it's like, it would be like your, your logo for your company, but you can look at it as like a Goliath icon. Hopefully that makes sense. I know there wasn't even a question about icons, but that was, um, I, I, but I still like share it. Sue says, I know you probably don't have any data in your kickoff labs. Uh, admin, can you show us how it manages gamification? Um, 
Yeah, I don't have any days. So that there's because I created a new Kickoff Labs campaign or account to show you all what it looks like. So there is no way for me to show any of that. But there there is graphs and charts. There's a lot of visuals. Once you start seeing people that are referring, you can see a really cool visual graph line of like how many of your email subscribers have uh, referred others. So what percent is based off of viral shares? You can sort by looking at the the the, the people that have referred the most, you can sort like a, there's a chart in there. You can sort by that. So then you can personally reach out to people that might have like shared, like gotten you thousands or hundreds of email addresses. They might be an influencer. So you could see that. And then you can even set to get alerts. So that way, when someone is on fire referring people, you can get notified about it. And then you can reach out to them personally and be like, man, you're on fire with this. I, I want to give you an extra unadvertised bonus, by the way. And, and also since we're talking like, how are you getting signups? And then you can get some crazy data by just uh, reaching out to people that are, and you can find all that inside of Kickoff Labs. Donald, uh, looks like Donald's new here. Uh, Donald, um, thanks for the question. Make sure you put a cue before your question so I can d uh, pick them out in the chat. When running ads and we put a cookie in someone's computer, what happens if they clear all their history passwords? Does it wipe out the cookie? Yeah, that it does. Like if someone does actually do a clean out on their browser or something like that, that wipes out like all cookies all the time. There's no way, it doesn't matter what offer, what program you ever promote that is affiliate based, it'll always wipe those cookies out. That's like a legal thing. Mike says, okay, great. I want to try this to refer Alphapreneur. That'd be awesome. You can, yeah, there's so many ways that you can do that. Alexandra says, love being here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Liz says, brilliant riff again. Thank you. I feel like I'm getting better at the riffs. I was I was not good like seven weeks ago when I first started doing this, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Uh, and by the way, I don't pass over anyone's questions. Like for those of you that are here live, you deserve to get every question answered. So I'm just answering questions until we, you know, hit close to the two hour mark. Blanche says, uh, would you prefer Kickoff Labs over BuzzSumo in terms of getting clients? Yes, BuzzSumo is good for doing research. Uh, BuzzSumo is not good for you know, getting clients. Um, it's good if you're doing like research on a competitor and you want to see what their top pages are. You want to see what their top keywords are. Uh, you want to see where they're getting their backlinks. Like that's what BuzzSumo is for. Uh, Kickoff Labs is a tool to collect email addresses using like referral marketing. Um, Michelle, could you use this strategy for a website already created? Yes, Absolutely. Uh, if you have a website already created, I would just actually recommend, um, I would recommend maybe having a new feature or a new area or a new level of your website that you're going to announce to the public. You're going to have a grand opening for or a countdown for, and then create a campaign around that. Um, I would not like have an existing website and then lay this on top of the website because then, or like create, let's say you have a website, let's call it healthline.com. And then you've got a blog and you've been posting, you know, for weeks or months or years. And then you're like, man, I want to do this to like ignite healthline.com. Uh, the only way you would have to be able to do that is you would have to create this campaign and then lay it on top of like your homepage on healthline.com. That's more of an advanced thing where you would need to reach out to kickoff labs and they can help you with that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I would do that though, because you would have a lot of exi existing people coming to your site they see your site's already there. There's already pages live and they're like, oh, why is she doing this like pre-launch thing? It's already live. Like, so I don't know if I'd do that. I would come up with like a new feature or a new benefit or a new thing that you're going to offer. China says, thanks so much. I felt a little dumb asking, but I did. There is no dumb questions. Um, always ask questions, even if you feel like, like they're the basic simplest questions. Cause, uh, if you have a question, I guarantee they're I mean, the reason I do these live streams on YouTube and not Facebook and LinkedIn and all these other places that I could probably get more people watching, uh, but I don't because on YouTube, these videos, when they're done, they're on YouTube and they're going to sit on here forever for years and years and years and decades maybe. So your questions, knowing that when you ask a question, there's probably going to be hundreds, if not thousands of people that are watching this in the future that are going to have the same question, but they weren't able to ask it. So Feel free to ask as many questions as you want, and I will be ha happy to answer all of them. Sue says, I'm launching a Parenting Tips membership site. How would you structure gamification? Uh, would you give away a free month's uh, membership with so many referrals? What other offers could work? If you're launching a Parenting Tips membership site, I would use 
what I mentioned in the previous uh, yesterday's live stream where if where I was talking about ideas of what you could do for digital goods, uh, which you would just basically have, if you refer five people, you get this downloadable PDF or this checklist. If you refer 10 people, you get this ebook. If you refer 25 people, you get this course. Like you start where your basic, it's, and you could have it where if they refer 200 people or, or you have some really high number and that's where they could get a free lifetime membership to whatever your parenting site is. So that's, that's what I would do as far as, um, those different levels. Now, if you don't have, let's say you want to, you want to do this and offer milestones for people, but you don't have, um, any products to offer them, like you don't have PDFs, you don't have eBooks, you don't have any of that. Uh, I would use private label rights for free stuff you can give out. So what I would do is let's say, um, yeah, let's go to Google together and type in parenting PLR. And then I will go to just a couple of these. And then, so the first one is um, PLR.me. So there's like a parenting and family three bundle Okay, there's 606 PLR products about parenting. So I would come in through here and find one that, that would be the, the most relatable to like your actual membership site that you're going to be offering. And I wouldn't do something where it's like 10 ideas to keep your kids. I would not make the, the gift that they're going to get when they get five referrals to sound like it would be like a blog post. You want it to sound like it's going to be like a guide or a course or something like very tangible, not like, 10 tips for this, like big deal. I can go Google that and find 10 tips. Like don't, don't do that. So try to like use PLR, like a parent's guide to calming your kids without a screen, like something really cool where it's like, yeah, I want that. Or you could have a collection where it listens these, like if you want that guide, for instance, let's take a look at this. That guide is, um, one credit and you could get is like 40 cents. So you're like paying 40 cents for that. And then that could be something you give away for someone that gets three referrals or you could make or five referrals, or you could get a couple of these and bundle them together. It'd be like, you can get our, you can get the, the parent's guide to calming your, or the parent's um, bundle to calming your kids without a screen. And then it could be like three or four guides in the bundle. So you could make it where each milestone of the bundles are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And all you're doing is like bundling these PLR products. Uh, so that's what I would do. If I was, if I was, that was Sue's question about launching a parenting membership site and how would you structure gamification? I would, uh, not only would I do that, I would, I would do the place. I didn't even talk about this, this, that this is my fault, but this is for those of you that are the stick around to the end. Um, and you get to, you get to see where I mess up and then we're going to, you're getting like some additional education. So I'm running, I only got like 15 minutes left. So hopefully I can get to everybody's final questions, but if I don't, always know you can go inside of alphapreneur.com, go to the groups section, and then go down to the email marketing group. If I don't get to your question before um, time runs out, go into the email marketing uh, group and then post your question there, and I'll be happy to answer your question in there. Uh, so for uh, so what I want to show you is something kind of advanced, and that is if you go, let's say you want to do this um, your position in line type program, and use where it says move up your place in line by referring friends. Well, what if you combine the two strategies where you combine the re, the place in line plus a milestone giveaway where if they refer five friends, they also get this and then 10, they get this. So you're combining two strategies in one. So if you want to do that, you can do that uh, with kickoff lab. So what you could do is you can click on add content and then come down on the left Man, sometimes I when I when I'm teaching in my mind I'm thinking like I know way too much stuff, <laughs> like like I totally forgot about this uh, earlier. But then it's like it occurred to me. It's like man, it's like how do I know all this stuff? Um, so points tracker. So you can actually uh, drop a points tracker down here, and then you can do a milestone uh, referral right here under where people are looking for their place in line. So you can see, you can uh, see, you can set how many re reward levels do you ha want? Four, or you want three, or you want five? You can just like click five, and it's going to put five on there. You want six? You can put six on. Well, six, five is the most you can do. Uh, so five, or maybe you just want two. But let's say you want five. Then you can say for level one, this would be like for you know, at five points. 
then you can type in whatever whatever they're going to get. Blah, 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 bundle. Uh, so then that would be there. And then, yeah, so you can actually do that. And then also for style, there is um, there's modern. You can do minimal, which is like the actual timeline like Harry's is doing. Or you can do classic, which looks... I actually kind of like classic. That looks really cool because then it, they, it looks almost like a path. Like they got to get to the end. Uh, so it's very gamified. Uh, so you can actually combine those two together. So Sue, back to your question. That's, that's what I would do to, that's what I would do for that. Good question. Uh, I'm just scrolling through the chat, just looking for the cues. Sue says, Chris, is there a place where you can purchase uh, prizes to give away in your gamification? Um, what works best, gift cards? No, do not do gift cards. Uh, I did gift cards in the past uh, when I was doing a giveaway for Evil Energy, and I was doing gift cards to Amazon so you could go buy Evil Energy and uh, to help with my rankings on Amazon. Again, I'm, I'm always trying to come up with ways to game the system. And then I noticed a lot of people were, um, they were wanting the gift cards, but then they never, like, they net they 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 did really good sharing and getting people into the program, but then they were like, you know, like seventy two year old grandmas that were wanting gift cards, but they are not going to drink my energy drink. So I was getting the wrong clients and the wrong customers to refer friends, and they were referring people that were also my wrong clients and wrong customers. So when you do a gift card, it's too general of a thing. Uh, to that is uh, it's going to attract the wrong people. So that's why I recommend making your gifts and your giveaways for doing like the time, the milestone thing to make it all related to your ultimate thing, like your ultimate thing being a membership site or being your blog or being your software or being your service or being your newsletter, uh, make it all related. So that way when they're, they would, they want that. So they are ultimately going to be a customer of yours, but then they're going to bring in people that might also want that. So really think about that. Uh, which PLR site was he on? Jamie said, um, you know, I don't know. I was actually what I did. That was an actually really nice PLR site. It was, um, parenting PLR and it was PLR.me. This used to be a very ugly site. Uh, but cause I've, I've used the site years ago, uh, and they just updated. So it looks really nice. Um, so PLR.me, that's the site that I'm using. <laughs> John says a bunch of (laughs) grannies drinking energy drinks. Danger. I was worried about that. Definitely worried about that. I was worried about heart attacks. I was worried about lawsuits. That was, I I was nervous. Um, Cool. Sue says, I appreciate appreciate your wisdom. You're welcome. All right. So that was, that pretty much sums up today's live stream. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed being here. And tomorrow I'm going to do another one of these, uh, which is going to be another breakdown on another way that someone has used referral marketing to grow their business by 3,900%. That's kind of just, that's the tip. That's the teaser. Uh, so show up and we'll jump back into kickoff labs and I build out another campaign doing what they've done. And I'm going to be a little more strategic tomorrow and actually do some more advanced stuff and show you how to stack all those different referral gamification things in one campaign. So we touched on it at the very end of this one, but I know a lot of people that watch these videos don't make it to the very end. So I'm going to kind of make sure I do that earlier on in tomorrow's video and we'll have a lot of fun uh, to in tomorrow's video. And as always, if you can, if you enjoyed today's talk, since I don't charge for these, I, I'm not selling you anything. There's no ulterior motives or anything like that. I just like to try to help as many people as I can, uh, and help as many entrepreneurs as I can to start a business and grow a business and give you everything you need to succeed. So if you enjoyed today's talk, if you could just leave a comment below this video and just let me know what you think, I really would appreciate it. I read and respond to every comment that I see. So, uh, so please do that if you want. I would appreciate it. And then also, again, my whole reason for doing this is trying to help as many people as I can. So the best way to get the word out is by sharing it with a friend. So if you have someone or you're in a Facebook group or you have an email list or you've got I don't know, you you have a way to reach people that you think would like this, let them know about this. Just share the the link on the YouTube link to them or for them and say that, you know, this is why you like today's talk or you think they would really appreciate this or you would not believe what Chris revealed in, you know, on this live stream that could have been a $10,000 masterclass or whatever it is you want to say. Like really, uh, I do appreciate the comments and the sharing because that is how we're going to be able to grow 
as a family. And because the more people that do end up showing up live to these live streams, the more questions there will be, the more answers I will give, and the more directions that I'm going to go and the more things I'm going to talk about. Because if there's only like three people here and there's only three questions, then these live streams wouldn't be as exciting as they are now. So uh, they're slowly growing every every live stream I do, so I really appreciate it. I'm going to keep being here every day, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central, to be here for you, minus like national holidays. I won't be here on holidays, but uh, I'll let you know ahead of time on those. Like there's Memorial Day coming up, so I'm not going to be around on Memorial Day on Monday because I'll be camping with my family. So other than that, I'm here every day of the week, so please show up to a live stream uh, and bring your questions and be ready to have some fun. So Again, I'm Chris. I'm the founder of Alphapreneur, uh, the social network for entrepreneurs. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's live stream and I hope to see you tomorrow.